Fame can come easy, but trademarks are forever remembered. Show me what you got, come make a difference, and don't let nothing stop your hustle. <laughs> Tell us what we need to know. Speak up. Whether it's beneficial information or essential to our lives, scripts or monologues, even poetry or rhymes, give us some food for thought, for we hungry for the drive. And in return, we supply you with feedback. Therefore, you and I both nourish the drive inside of us. Speak now or never. Either that or remain a cloud of dust. Some of us are here to speak. Inspirational quotes to sustain your focus. Keep you from holding pieces, dropping out and off the streets. That's somebody's story. What's yours? Speak now or hold your peace. I'm Nell D, and this is Open Mic TV, a show for the spoken and unspoken. This is an open mic of poetry, spotlights, and documentaries. On this special episode of Open Mic, it's lights, camera, and backstage action. For now, enjoy a never-before-seen spotlight. Bethune-Cookman University is well known for inviting legends and comedians to make a grand appearance. Fall 2011, BCU introduced Fret House, a stage play starring Kim Coles and Melba Moore. Both stars told Open Mic TV they enjoyed their time on the camp. Well, it's uh, uh, an unbelievable pleasure and honor because I'm very familiar with uh, the founder of Mary McLeod Bethune and her historic uh, input in the um, first, first class citizenship of Africa. It feels amazing to be here at the great Bethune-Cookman University. There's so much heritage here, there's so much history here, and I liked it so much that I'm coming back. I haven't even left yet, but I know that I'm coming back. That's somebody's story, what's yours? Speak now or hold your peace. Big stage, bright lights, early mornings, late nights. The true life of a star on a mission with a vision. The only way to cut it is to have a heart with an incision of a dream to continue to aspire. Making fame a reality, no longer being a satire. To grasp the riches and qualities that we've once desired but have not acquired. But determination will be required. So now that you reach the peak, you're introduced to your seat behind stage as your mind begins to rage. You reach the phase where you gaze and your mind is dazed to walk out and see millions of people calling your name. Now you reassured that your goals weren't aimless but the only reason that you made it is because God made the way for you to be famous uh, I like to say first and foremost you know I'm a God fearing man that's what Drewski is and I'm an artist you know um, I'm a natural artist though. I'm not somebody who forces themselves to make music I'm not somebody who forces themselves to do it it's just come natural from College Hill Atlanta to Open Mic TV. Drewski from the BET series, College Hill, talks to Open Mic TV about life after the show, his music, and his famous song, Baby, make your booty It's Drewski, and this is his story. My name is Drew. I love music. Music is my life. I started making music, and it became me. I am music. 
My rap career has been short. I've only been doing it for a year and some months now, and it has been very positive for me. I just was breaking the surface as an artist. I was just getting a chance to know myself as an artist and the, the, the do's and don'ts, and I was still finding myself. Um, present day, I would like to say I'm more complete as an artist. I'm still finding out new things about myself and things that I'm capable of, but I have a better, I have a clear, a more clear direction of where I'm going with my music and what I'm doing. Back then, I was just making songs for fun and, you know, I was experimenting. I was in my experimental state, so I was making songs and, yeah, I was serious back then, too, but I kind of had no direction of where I was going. Don't make me come after your A like the letter B, oh. but I'm a letter B. Oh. Hell, y'all gonna thank me later. Hey. I'm all about my paper, oh. and really, I love my haters. Hey, I love you. I've met a lot of people in the industry, and I've had a lot of industry experiences. You know, um, um, a lot of it is it has to do with favoritism. It has to do with who you know. You can know somebody just from you know, saying hi to them and them seeing you around. Mm -hmm. But it's about who you actually know. Like who who would take who who would take the time out to lend a helping hand. You know what I mean? And um I kept running into a lot of people who were selling me dreams. I kept running into a lot of people who kept saying, I I'ma do this for you, I'ma do this for you and then I would stick around for a couple months to see what exactly they could do to help my career out. And um one by one, a lot of the times it was fail after fail after fail, disappointment after disappointment after disappointment, to I got to a point where I was discouraged. His disappointments didn't just discourage him, it encouraged him. Up next, Drewski shares with Open Mic TV what keeps him going and later. I'm gonna make your booty talk, baby, make your booty talk. I'm gonna make your booty talk, baby, make your booty talk. I'm gonna make your booty talk, baby, make your booty talk. Hi, my name is Daisha Johnson. I'm from Washington, D.C. I am a junior, and you're watching BCU Campus TV. It's your girl, A. Gilly, live from the studio. You watching BCU Campus TV. Hi, guys. It's Natasha Trueblood. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. I'm a mass comm major, and you're watching BCU Campus TV. That's somebody's story. What's yours? Speak now or hold your peace. So we, in, so we in the studio right now, I'm about to record a song called On Fire, um, uh, and that's pretty much it, because I'm on fire, man, I'm the hottest thing in the A right now, man, I'm the, I'm the hottest thing in the A, I'm the core of the sun, the core of the sun, you understand that, it don't get no hotter than that, baby, <laughs> it don't get no hotter than that, the core of the sun, come on, man, let's be real, it's Drew Ski, baby. My soul wouldn't allow me to give up my gift because it's something that that's within me so every time even if i said well i quit rapping you know every time i turn on the radio i would hear something that i like and be like oh okay okay and then the, the, the first thing i would do is compare myself to that and say if i had this beat or if i was on this track this is what i would have did you know what i mean and i started getting jealous you know the artist in me the competitive side of me, the competitive nature of me was getting jealous by hearing all of this music that's on the radio and seeing people in the music videos, you know, being successful at doing the same thing that I love to do. I am as capable as these other people who are doing the same thing that I do. They're successful at it, I can be successful at it. And um, that keeps me going. Turn up, 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 turn up
booty talk. Baby, make your booty talk. I'ma make your booty talk. A video for booty talk or playing on the radio because I never wanted that to be my first song that I came out with. You know, um, I didn't want to be put in that category of, you know, Uncle Luke Jr. I'ma make your booty talk. So much more to me as an artist than that song. And I didn't want people to categorize me or to think that I was the type of guy to just make them kind of songs, you know what I mean? Like, I make deep songs, I make funny songs, I make sad songs, I make real songs, you know, um, I make player songs, you know what I mean? Like, I, I do all types of stuff, so I'm very versatile. Up next, Juski expressed his appreciation to his supporters. Hello Wildcats, my name is Kiaje Williams, but you can call me Kiki, I'm a psychology major. Um, my organization that I'm in is Hoceres 2 Championship Dance Team Incorporated, and you are watching BCU Campus TV. Shout out to HA2! <laughs> Hello Wildcats, my name is Kiaje Williams, but you can call me Kiki, I'm a major is nursing, and I'm from Ormond Beach, Florida, and you're watching BCU Campus TV. Hi, my name is Dominique Rodman, and this is Javon, and we're from Lakeland, Florida. I'm majoring in physical education, and I'm a senior, and you're watching BCU Campus TV. Say hi, Joe. That's somebody's story, what's yours? Speak now, or hold your peace. I definitely want to say um, I appreciate the people who are still a part of my campaign, who's been, who stuck with me from the beginning up until now, people who never, left, who never left my side, even the fans, the fans, the people, I have fans hit me up every day still asking me when I'm at, when I'm coming back out, what, what am I doing, they want to know about my whole thing, and I just want to say like I appreciate y'all, I appreciate everybody who, who, who worry about me, who's inquiring about me, who wants to know about what I got going on, and I appreciate that. College Hill showed him the ropes of show business, and he thanks God for his opportunity. Up next, more backstage action. That's somebody's story. What's yours? Speak now or hold your peace. That's somebody's story, what's yours? Speak now or hold your peace. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody here for welcoming me here. Uh, it's just, I, I feel like this is a, a is, I feel so at home mm -hmm. coming to Bethune Cookman. And so I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Author and actor Hill Harper premiered at Bethune Cookman University's Rock the Mic series. Harper did more than just rock the mic. He sparked the students with his message. How does it feel to be back here at Bethune-Cookman University? You know, Bethune-Cookman is I, one of the most historic, beautiful uh, HBCUs or just places I've ever been. And, and, and the first time I was here, I was hit by just the energy and the spirit of the students, the history walking around, um, yeah, just blown away. And, and I got the same feeling uh, today. It was a great turnout and a great group of people. And so I couldn't be more impressed by Bethune-Cookman. What does the foundation provide? Yeah, the, the stability and the support, absolutely. So the second step of being active architect of our own life is foundation building. 
Wildcat Jaden Richards became the talk of the night after he told Hill that he always wanted to be famous and an actor with no experience. <laughs> You got a dream, just go, you know, go get it no matter what people say, because of course people are just gonna knock you down, make you feel bad about it, but you know, eventually if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Building a foundation was the message of the night. Tonight you talked a lot about elevating yourself, elevating your career, and not letting nothing stop you. Why did you push that so much? Well, you know, I think that a lot of us can get discouraged. You know, we can get down. Sometimes we can find that when obstacles come, they stop us. And, you know, I wanted to remind everyone here that you're unstoppable, to dream bigger, to live unreasonably happy, to really go for the life that you're meant to live. And so it was, it was a great conversation, and, and I appreciated everybody's energy, and, and it, was, it was pretty special. Special and informational. Harper also brought up topics like politics and life after college. I want to take time to thank the staff of the Rock the Mic and also Dr. Womack. What's going on, Wildcats? It's your boy, Janero Carter. And I'm Jaquel Phillips. And we're both representing Fami Alpha. Attorney of America Incorporated. Ooh, ooh. Hey. And you are now tuned into BCU Campus TV. Turn up. I never really pictured myself going to college. I was really spoiled growing up. Um, my senior year of high school, my life completely changed. I lost my mom and I lost both maternal grandparents in 2009. Basically, like lost, I just somehow decided to, you know, come to school, look for different resources. I found out about Open House. I had a friend of a friend who knew that I was inter interested in coming to Bethune-Cookman University. So her family, mind you, I didn't know them, but we had a mutual friend. So her family invited me to come. Mind you, we connected through Facebook. So her family invited me to come to Florida with them, to drive to Florida with them. And I'm on my own, so I kind of make my own decisions at the age of 18. So I'm just like, I'm gonna take a chance. And it's crazy because we're still, like, we're best friends now. We live together. So if it wasn't for her family coming to Open House and inviting me to Open House, I wouldn't be here. So, 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 so many opportunities have just landed in my lap. Not only the opportunities that I applied for, but just opportunities that I didn't even know about. So I'm now a senior. So my freshman year to present, I've been, I've been quite involved. I've done... National Council of Negro Women, the Student Free Enterprise, the Black Executive Exchange Program, and I also work at the Performing Arts Center. I am Camry Pierce, and this is my transformative story. What's up, everybody? My name is Darrell Wilson. I'm a biology major at BCU. I'm a senior. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and you're now watching BCU Campus TV. Shout out BCU football team. That's somebody's story. What's yours? Speak now or hold your peace. This next interview had a lot of viewers asking, what is Open Mic TV about? Enjoy my interview with the one and only Bondsworth Bentley. Good to be here with Don Cook University. Uh, I am, I'm honored to be at this university. I was thinking y'all ain't like me for a minute. I'm like, how come then Bethune ain't had me come through? Why is taking y'all so long to get me to come through? But you here now, right? Okay, yeah, you're right. Right. He's known for being Sean Cole's personal assistant. You may have seen him on Making of the Band 2 and MTV from G's to Jinks. But his name is Bondsworth Bentley. Bosworth Bentley rocked the mic at Bethune-Cookman University, encouraging students to stay wise, confident, 
but with style. Good point. Right. Let's talk about this book we have. Thank you. How to use manners, confidence, and style to get ahead. Oh Lord. There's so much. Let, let's talk about this it's book. Heavy. Well, first of all, you know, just quickly, um, I define swagger as a tertiary agreement, and manners plus confidence plus style equals swagger. So, it doesn't matter how stylish you are. If you're rude, don't nobody want to be around you. And conversely, you know, if you are mannerable and confident, but don't know how to dress appropriately for the occasion, you won't even gain entry into the game. Hi, you guys. My name's Taylor. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm a junior and I'm a psychology major at Bethune Cookman University. You guys are watching BCU Campus TV. Hi, my name is Rose Amazon. I'm a senior nursing major from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and y'all watching BCU Campus TV. Hey, welcome back, BCU. My name is Ray Champagne, and you are watching BCU Campus TV. I just want to take a shout out and tell y'all thank you. I appreciate every last one of y'all for supporting the Wildcat Anthem. Now the Wildcat Anthem got 15,000 views. Man, it's a blessing. Once again, watch the BCU Campus TV. We taking over now. Ah, 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 I am. Delta, Zetas, couple of bad chicks Walk down the strip, show love to them alphas Trey let me know that the party is sick As I walk away, told me keep it low key And direct everybody to the sea That's somebody's story, what's yours? Speak now, or hold your peace Welcome back to another episode of Open Mic TV In the beginning of my journey I had the privilege to make friends with an American Idol. Take a look. Exclusive episode of Open Mic. You know him as the Velvet Teddy Bear. That what mm. they say. The Velvet Teddy Bear. <laughs> that what they say. The one and only that Ruben Stunner. <laughs> Ruben Stunner. My mama named me that. Your mama named me that? Ruben. American Idol Ruben Stunner came to Bethune Cookman in spring 2012 to promote his album, Letters from Birmingham. After the concert, Open Mic TV had the chance to get inside the Velvet Teddy Bear's head. It's my most personal release yet. You know, I think the fans are going to enjoy it. It plays like a movie. I wanted the album to really flow like a, a movie soundtrack, so that's what it does. And it's just an amazing project, and I think y'all going to enjoy it. So it's the personal, like the emotional side of the Velvet Teddy Bear, basically. Uh, it's what we call it. It's a relationship uh, progression. So. It goes from the introduction to the, you know, to the, um, the falling in love, to the physical, to the breakup, to the, it's just, it, it goes straight, uh, the whole emotions of a complete, you know, start and finish of a relationship. I enjoyed my Ruba Sterners interview. Last week was my last homecoming. And get this, I became friends with the legend, the one and only Dougie Fresh. Check it out. All right, now let's have some fun. Freshman, where you at? <laughs> homecoming 2013 was filled with alumni, fireworks, marching wildcats, Rod Z, and Dougie Fresh. Dougie and Rod Z made BCU Wildcats feel like they were living back in the 80s. After the show, Open Mic TV went backstage to have a little chit chat with the legend, Dougie Fresh. How does it feel to be here with the great Bethune Cook University? 
oh, I'm honored to be here. You know, I, I, you know, I didn't know what to expect when I came here, but now it's greater than I thought. And it was great when I first thought, but now it's greater. So you have to help me change the name to greater. <laughs> greater. <laughs> you know, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I felt like the people and the energy here was just so good. You know, you could just see. I mean, it was nice weather. You know, the band was unbelievable. Weather plays a major thing, a major part in everything. I mean, I just came back from New York, and I'm telling you, I was just so happy to be out here with y'all because <laughs> it was cold in New York. You know, uh -huh. but the vibe was good. You know, the uh, the DJ Livewire had him come out, and mm -hmm. he did a great job to me. And Rod is unbelievable. He is. He's amazing. He's, a, he's an amazing talent. <laughs> Talked about your sister. Happy birthday, big sis. I gotta ask y'all something very, very important. You're gonna bring that back in. Same beat. I wanna ask you a quick question. You're looking fabulous. Thank you, sir. sir. I, I thank you very much. I wanna ask you because my sister, today is my sister's birthday. Hey. And I told her, happy birthday. I called her up, you know. But she kept telling me that Scorpio was the number one Zodiac sign of them all. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't know. Yeah, my sister's very close. We used to be on punishment together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you ever come to New York, if you ever come to New York, I want you to... Dougie tells Open Mic TV that his restaurant, Dougie's, is a mixture of Caribbean and soul food. Dougie's is located on 132nd Street in Harlem, New York. And I made the restaurant like that because I just wanted to put something in the community that inspired a lot of the kids to 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 want to still go and reach. And, and sometimes we grow up in certain communities and when we make ourselves successful, we leave the community. Yo, if you know you're not a hater, put your hand up. If you know you're not a hater, put your hand up. Say, oh, ah, oh, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh, 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 oh. One more time. Well, all I can say is that this was a great experience. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And I hope that I can return here. And you should always go out there and support the BCU. From reality TV to real life, from the spotlight to backstage, I'm Nell D, and this concludes another episode of Open Mic TV. Be blessed.